Kate, good day to you. Good to see you back in business. Red McWraith, what can I do for you? You seem worried. Something on your mind? You are. When you did for Evelyn, you cost us a doctor. It's not a pleasant decision. Not easily taken. I'll help if I can. They may have medicine at Fort Jericho. You could bring it back to us. If they can spare it, I'll do just that. Goodbye to you, Huntress. I'll look forward to seeing things improve, now that you're in charge. Thank you, Red. Travel safe. I shall drain the first boil. Ready? Same sudden question every sudden time. No, I'm not done well ready. Excellent. Then we'll begin. Be careful, goddammit! Careful! Ah! I know. I know. Shh. Oh, there are you. Queen Mary Stuart. Well, I've met Mary the Second, and she's a little prettier than I. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. <sighs> the banisher come to gloat at sick old cotton peabody. Well, piss off. There's a sudden stink of death in here, Scotsman, and it ain't from me. As you were, Mr. Peabody. See about. Not like I can go anywhere anyways. <sighs> These look nasty. Poor man. Never a good sign. Are those your records? Yes. Perhaps someday they may help someone. My apologies. I did not wish to hush you. I just prefer to focus on one patient at a time. Welcome to the infirmary. I'm Nurse Wings. Anne, if it sets you at ease. I'm a banisher. Name's McCraith, but you may call me Red. Red. A pleasure to see a friendly face, or any face at all. What can I do for you? So... How'd you end up here? What brought you to nursing? That, sir, is a personal question. I'm a personable man. That's not the same thing. I was sick as a child. Very sick. Afterwards, I swore I'd serve others when they were sick. And here I am. What about you? I was... Well, I was haunted. Someone cared for me. Saved me from my ghosts. Now I do the same. A fine story. I'll not bore you with more. Times being as they are, how come you only have the one patient? Mr. Peabody's illness is unsightly. Fort Jericho has a history of contagion. Folk worry. What does he have? Not my place to say. You'll have to ask him yourself. 
All right. I'll not press you. Mr. Peabody's... Did you not fear infection? If I did, I would not show it. What's the word around here? No, I don't see folk much. I stay here, keep to myself. No visitors? No other patients? Helen Prees comes when she can. Captain Pennington would sometimes visit Mr. Peabody, but I haven't seen him in a while now. What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? He fought King Philip and the Wampanoag. Led his company well, I'm told. It's not for me to like or dislike him, unpleasant though he may be. Tell me about Helen Priest. The bold lieutenant's widow. He's dead some years now, and she's not remarried. She's as much a soldier as her husband was. A fighter. Commanding, too. Even dead, you can see his influence in her bearing. I think I know how that feels. What about you? How do you feel? Oh, I'm alive and well. I'll not complain. I can be strong for those less fortunate. You're a good soul, Nurse Wings. Well, I do my best, Mr. McRaith. I'm sure you do yours. Farewell, Nurse Wings. Farewell, and good health, sir. This should be enough. Let's return to Kate. I've brought tools and medical supplies from Fort Jericho. I'll make sure they're portioned out. Thank you. Welcome. Goodbye to you, Huntress. I look forward to seeing things improve, now that you're in charge. Thank you, Red. Travel safe. <laughs>